Welcome to episode three of getting infinite spending points in Study Ladder. After literal hours of searching, I have finally found the best way to get unlimited coins, so hang around for that. But first, let me explain the journey of how I got to this point. This journey began nearly one whole year ago, when I found the spending points function in the console. It allowed you to get extremely large numbers of in-game spending coins for Study Ladder. But that wasn't enough for me, and that's when I challenged myself, and I started a mission to get infinite coins in Study Ladder. After months of trying to no avail, a talented coder, Insane Miner, reached out to me with code he'd written. It gives you infinite coins. The code was amazing and worked 100% of the time, but it technically wasn't infinite coins. So after loads of brainstorming, during a live stream, I came up with a new idea to get what I wanted. By overloading the system with a number too large to compute, it would surely register as infinite spending coins. And sure enough, in episode 2 of this series, by putting a ridiculous number into the console, I finally did it. I achieved infinite spending points, I'd finally done it, and I thought that was that. But then I came up with a crazy idea, an idea so stupid that I thought it could never work. But if it did, it would revolutionise the way to get unlimited coins forever. <laughs> this whole time, all I had to do was type spending points equals infinity. But no. <laughs> How did I not think of that? Honestly, I do not know. Well, that's it. All you have to do is go into console and type spending points equals infinity. Because JavaScript thinks that infinity is a real number, and it is in mathematics, so that's why they have it. But your boy Zach was too dumb to figure that out. <laughs> All I had to do this whole time, I've been trying to do this for a year. You do realise that a year is a long time. <laughs> All I had to do was type spending points equals infinity, and it would have worked this whole time. And I can buy anything I want, and it would have worked this whole time. I can reload the page, infinity is gone, but I can spend as much as I want with spending points equals infinity. I keep the stuff. I keep the stuff. But I, I'm very frustrated at myself because that was all I had to do. All that. Also, bonus hack. If you didn't know, NAN, or capital N, lowercase a, capital N, means absolutely nothing in the coding world. Or in JavaScript, at least. So, here's a cool trick. If you do spending points equals NAN, and press enter, then your spending points, once you update it, so I will buy this bed here, It'll come up with a weird glitch thing. Make sure you press yes. Don't press O or no. Press yes. And it says NAN. And you actually have literal zero spending points. So, this is a bit of a different video from what I usually do. If you enjoy, make sure to like tell me down in the comments like what you think I could have improved on. Like and subscribe if you really enjoyed. And that's it.